are about to get our first look at the Alpha 2 Mage in Ashes of Creation at the end of April, finally showing us the updated caster combat. As we can expect, Steven Sharif and company to take on some mobs within the world of Vera, similar to what we have seen with the tank, cleric, ranger, and fighter showcases. But there is a ton of information out there already on what we can expect from the mage archetype, so you don't have to wait two more weeks to find out about it. Mages in Ashes of Creation are those whom have a very strong connection to what is called the Essence. The Essence is basically the Force of Vera, a metaphysical energy or life force that can be manipulated to create magic. It sounds as though the elves learned to control the Essence and perform magic before the humans, which eventually led to a Piran elf by the name of Tanfelerus Rin to teach the mages magic and construct the Tower of Carfin, a university that was established for teaching other humans how to master the essence and create magic, but eventually fell to a curse as one of the head mages used blood magic to try and save the city of Ayla, which came at a huge cost. For the weapons you can expect to equip as a mage, you'll be able to take up wands, spell books, orbs, and some staffs, all which are considered ranged weapons, but staffs are said to have a range type and a melee type to them, but Ashes of Creation will not have weapons locked to specific classes. So if you want to wield a sword or a bow as a mage, you could, but some weapons will be more beneficial to specific classes than others. For abilities, there are a handful that we have seen so far, all which seem pretty familiar to those of you who play mages. You have the Black Hole, which summons a black hole at a target location and reduces movement speed of enemies. Blink, which teleports you forward in the direction you're traveling. Drain Essence, which has you drain the target for damage over time and returns mana to the caster in that time period. Fireball, which hurls a ball of fire towards your target, dealing direct damage on impact. Gift of the Magi, which restores a set amount of mana up front along with additional mana over time to you and a friendly target. Lava Storm, which creates a field of lava at select locations, which does AoE damage. Meteor Storm, which summons forth three meteors on a target location. Prismatic Beam, which spawns a giant beam of energy that can be aimed around. And Thunderstruck, which shoots forward a beam of lightning that damages enemies in a line in front of you. Keep in mind that all of these abilities were from Alpha 1, and although I expect a lot of these to make it to the final class, they may not all, but a lot of these are very mage-like that you would expect, like Fireball and Blink and Meteor Storm and things like that, they're all very mage-like abilities that a lot of MMOs use, and this isn't the full toolkit of the mage either. I expect in the reveal at the end of April that we will see some new abilities for this class, perhaps even some augmented ones, although that's probably less likely, but it'll really give you a good idea on what you can start to expect. Expect. All of these mage abilities, like with all archetypes, are able to be upgraded with talent points that can reduce the duration, increase damage, add extra projectiles, and a lot more, all depending on the ability the points are going into. Mages will be able to augment their abilities into four elemental schools, fire, frost, lightning, and teleportation. Meaning when augmented, your abilities could perform differently in each of these classes, which could really depend on your secondary class archetype. And for those wondering how the teleportation augment works, well, it seems to work more with movement abilities. So, say you were charging forward, but you had the teleportation augment, then instead of charging forward, you would just teleport forward and things like that. I'm sure this will be much more dominant as a secondary archetype mage, where the tanks have a charge enemy that could be turned into a teleport augment, but it's really hard to say until we see it. There is also blood magic within Vera, but it is unknown if a player can actually wield it. I would assume no, at least at launch, because this type of magic is said to be illegal in Vera, where it can have dire consequences if used. The mage's abilities, among other classes, can also be affected by the season you are in. For example, maybe a mage's frostbolt is stronger in the winter, whereas a firebolt is stronger in the summer. We last saw the mage in Alpha 1, so it's been almost two years since we saw this caster archetype. And after this reveal, there will only be the rogue, bard, and summoner left to see for the main eight. So hopefully we can get these classes out of the way pretty soon and see more of the systems that are coming in Alpha 2, like nodes. I want to see more nodes. Personally, I am very excited to see the Alpha 2 Mage at the end of April, as this is one of the classes that I tend to play the most, and I spent the majority of time playing within Alpha 1. So seeing how the Mage has evolved and comparing it to other MMORPGs will be exciting, and hopefully Intrepid took away all those rooted movement abilities. 
If you made it this far into the video, then I assume you probably enjoyed this content. So please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up. And comment below if you are excited to see the Mage archetype at the end of April and what you want to get out of the Mage in Alpha 2. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.